Welcome to an episode of Let's Explain Why This Comment Is Dumb. And I want to talk about a common comment that I get downplaying the usefulness of minimalist or suckless software. And I want to respond to why it's a dumb com I don't want to say dumb comment, but why it is a inappropriately informed comment. So yesterday I got, I get this kind of comment relatively often, but yesterday I got one example of it. So I'll use it as a straw man to talk about. Um, so it comes from this guy, Christian, and I'll, I'm not bullying him or anything like that. I'm just responding to the comment, although I reserve the right to read his comment in a dumb voice. So I will. So let's read it. Let me get this right. You're using ST from Suckless because it's small. So why did you apply so much patches instead of using a terminal where this feature's already included? Masochism? Just use a terminal like Kitty and simply press Control shift u and pick search favorite a smiley. Too simple. All right, let's talk about this. So no, notice the implicit assumption of comments like this. The implicit assumption is people who use minimalist software or suckless software in particular, they're doing it just to be, they're being masochistic. They're doing, it's just a big meme. They're, they're all hipsters. They're doing the things for no reason. And they just want to make life hard on themselves. Mind you, this is the same thing that people who use Windows and Mac say about people who use Linux, just bear that in mind. Um, and most of you as Linux users probably think that's a stupid thing to say. Um, so I feel the same way, but again, that's an understandable thing if you don't really, uh, let me just explain to him why. Okay, so let's take the example. He uses the example of ST versus Kitty and inserting emojis. So let's do that. I actually have the source code for Kitty right here. I just downloaded it a second ago as an illustration, and I'm going to pull up the source code for my ST build. Now, first off, there's a misunderstanding that, that minimalist software is just about lines of code. There are some people who care about that. Um, I think it is an issue. Some, it's, it's more like a symptom of a deeper problem. But in general, yes, ST, even though I have patched in all these bloat features. I mean, people make fun, you know, they, they like to, people complain when I use minimal software and add in features I like. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, but uh, you'll see that the source code to my ST build, the whole thing is 7.3 megs. Of course, most of that is the Git folder, so that doesn't really count. And if we look at Kitty, we will see that it has a good bit more, 33 megs. Now, of course, most of that is the Git folder as well. But, and also in Kitty's defense, they have things like images and, you know, lots and lots of documentation. But if you compare even a built out beefy build of ST, uh, you will see uh, to pretty much any other terminal, you'll see that ST is nearly always significantly smaller in terms of source, source code. It's not an issue about getting rid of features, first off. It's an issue of getting rid of bad written code. That's one of the things that Suckless is about. But let's talk about something more tangible. Let's talk about the feature that he mentions that is um, inserting smileys, emojis, stuff like that, okay? So first off, you'll see in the Kitty source code, there is quite, you have four and a half megs of that software or of, you know, of the source code that is about Unicode input, okay? Compare that, that is more than my entire ST build. Uh, now I have Kitty installed, so I'm going to bring it up. Uh, so here it is. Now let's look at their Unicode insertion uh, thing. So again, Control Shift U uh, gives you this menu in Kitty to insert some kind of emoji. So I can pick, let's say I want that one. That's my face right now. Uh, or let's say, um, so of course not everything is here. You can go to different uh, tabs, stuff like that. You can type in I don't know, words from it or something like that, right? So that that's a nice way of inserting emojis, but it's terribly inefficient, okay? Let me compare uh, that to what I use to insert emojis. Now, I have no feature in my ST build to insert emojis, no feature whatsoever, because I use an external script for that. And I'm gonna explain why that is better. Here's what my external script looks like. Here, you know, basically just brings up a little menu with all the emojis and all their names, and you just start typing a name uh, and you get your emoji, okay? You can insert that, simple as that. Now. First off, mine is quite a bit more more ergonomic. You just have the menu. You don't have to really you think really think about it. You just start typing. It's sort of like one of those tabs over here. I guess the the uh, yeah F2 tab. Um, but here is the superiority of my system versus theirs, and it has to do with it being a minimalist piece of software. The superiority is this is not built into my terminal. It is a general, all-purpose script that works on my terminal. It works on my browser. 
it works on a messenger application I might use, it works on email, it works on every program, or even if I just wanna put something in my clipboard, I can always you know, use this to get some kind of uh, emoji, no matter what, okay? It just always works. Whereas the kitty way of inserting emojis is specific to kitty. Now here is the big problem. Here, here is one of the reasons minimalist software is so much better. If you, you, if you have the kitty mindset, oh, we'll just program four and a half megs into our terminal build for inserting emojis. A, you have to make sure that's good. But then you have nothing for inserting emojis in other programs. So I guess in my environment, I'm supposed to have an emoji insertion mechanism in my terminal build, one in my browser, one in my messenger application, one in my email, one in every single program that I have. The minimalist mindset, the suckless mindset is that's stupid. That's a waste of time. You should just have one general all purpose script where you can select an emoji and insert it or do any kind of operation separate of in each individual program and insert that. And it does not add, it's a feature that anyone, including you, even if you use none of my software, you could download and use this feature itself. So it's not reliant on anything and it is useful for everything. Okay, so that is why it's a sort of inefficient thing to have. Now let's actually compare. Now I mentioned a second ago. Uh, let's go back to Kitty, um, and we'll go. We'll look again at what was the size of all this. Okay, yeah. So four and a half megs. Let's compare that to the economicness of uh, my system for doing it. Uh, so again, I have it in here. It's actually well, there are two files. One is the emoji file that I have, and I'll open that up. It's local share larbs. Uh, emoji and this is the file I opened up in the last video. It is literally just a list of all the emojis I happen to keep there, you know a little uh, I don't know hex whatever it is the Unicode not sequence or whatever whatever and uh, of course a picture of the emoji um, and That that's all the input uh, To all the input you need now the script that actually pops up the menu is this one here D menu Unicode um, and this is all it is. So they have four and a half megs. I just have one single file here, which is, let's actually see how big this file is. Um, it is less than a single meg, okay? And this little script that is 20 lines could probably be way less, frankly, um, that takes the content of that file, provides it as a menu with D menu, and then allows you to just type in and whatever you select, it copies to your clipboard and even gives you a little notification just to make sure you click the right thing. That is not even necessary. You wouldn't even need to do that. So my feature compared to that four and a half megs, it is much more useful because you can use it with any program at any time. And also it is much more minimal. It's basically as minimal as it can get. All it is, the input is just a file with emojis and the script that's doing the, the heavy lifting, I mean, it's not even that heavy. It just, it just does what you want and that's about it. So that is what suckless software is about, minimalist software. It's not an issue of, oh, just deciding, oh, emojis are bloat, I'm not gonna use emojis or something like that, or de deciding that this feature or that feature is stupid and you wanna make, make life difficult for yourself so you're not gonna use it. That is absolutely 100% not what it's about. It's about thinking, where is the most efficient place to have that kind of operation? Is it really efficient to have emojis and stuff like that as, as a, an emoji module in every piece of software? How stupid is that? Why don't I just have one for everything? Now, mind you, a lot of the other features that ST um, doesn't have by default, the reason you patch some things into it, for example, ST does not have uh, scroll up abilities by default. You might think of that as being a basic feature to terminals. And in most terminals, it is. And if you want it in ST, there's a you just download ST and you apply the patch for it. Um, but the reason ST doesn't have that is because the thinking is that that in a lot of use cases is totally redundant if you're talking about people who use Tmux or something like that. Because Tmux has its own built-in a way for doing that. So that is the mindset. It's not, Suckless is, is in particular is about two things. It's about well-written code, efficient and well-written code. Um, and it's also about just only having the features that you need in the best situations, okay? Um, now, additionally to that, one final note, especially about Suckless stuff, is that it is infinitely easier to add features to Suckless software than it is for anything else. Uh, one thing that I added, you might remember if you've been watching my ch uh, channel for a while, 
Uh, last year I added the feature, let's say I have some output on my terminal, uh, I added the feature with the help of a uh, subscriber, where I can just have a key that says, okay, select which command you want, and once you do that, it will copy that output to your clipboard. So if I go in another, you know, let's say I open up Vim or some in Vim, in Vim, let's say I open up Vim, I can paste in the output of that command. Okay, so a lot of things that you might take for granted as not being automatic on other terminals, it's easy using a minimalist piece of software, an extensible minimalist piece of software, you can easily add in features. I didn't know nothing about, you know, copying output from the terminal or something like that, but we sat down and did it in an evening. Okay, it's not that hard. And that is the mindset. So when you're saying something like this guy, Christian or anyone else, if you're a normie out there, you like using Windows, Mac, that's fine. You, you think it's easy, okay. But if you're the kind of person who is computer oriented, I don't know why people say this, this kind of stuff. Like it, it, using software like this is not like a big joke that people do for no reason. Um, it's something that you can get a lot of bang for your buck out of. And I encourage you to try it and don't just think it's stupid because you don't understand it, okay. Uh, I mean, and, and you don't understand because you're dumb or something. That's not what I'm saying. Just lurk more and just play around with it and don't, don't knock it till you've tried it. That's all I got to say. All right. See you guys next time.